Hello and welcome back to Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age, Modern Age sets against each other, and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I am building out of Earth X, oh yeah, and Simeon is building out of Batman the Animated Series. Uh, back in the world of Tabletop Simulator, ooh, how we have missed it, how we have missed it. It's, it is good to be back. Simeon, why don't you go ahead and get started with everything on your team? We got a lot of figures on our teams this week, yeah. and bystanders and all sorts of stuff. So let's get going. Got a lot of a lot of votes. So uh, I think we, I at least included everything I got to vote for, minus one ninja. But I have a ninja on my team. So uh, starting off the team is good old Zatanna. So she's got Justice League Unlimited. That's a common trait throughout this set. If you roll a six, you can remove. A token from a character with the Justice League keyword that's 100 points or less. Penetrating Psychic Blast, Telekinesis, and Free Generate a Bat Bystander. The Bat Bystanders have Sidestep, Enhancement, Shape Change, Passenger, Zero, their tiny size. Um, then she has Perplex and Probability Control on her special damage power. So, pretty good figure. I've used her a lot. Uh, it's one of my like go-tos from this set. Next up, somebody I've never really played, I don't think, ever once, is Kyoto Kyodai Ken. Kyoto Kyodai Ken. Yep. Uh, charge blades, combat reflexes. He's a close combat guy. He has traded stealth when he attacks a character of equal or more points. He gets a plus one attack, which is pretty solid. He has sleep gas gun trait, which is free once per game. Give each adjacent opposing character an action token. Sounds like it'll be good. Let's see if it actually does anything. Um... Hmm. Uh, I mean, it'd be hard to not get that to work, but he can yeah, just, just of, get blasted. It's right. free. Yeah. Sort of happens. Oh, that's, yeah. Also a possibility. Uh, next up is Robot Minotaur, who doesn't have the correct traits or anything. So let me dig that one out because apparently. Well, are you paying him 50 points? Yeah, but he's also got the outwit thing. So, yep, I'll do that one. Uh, so he has, I have no muscle, yes, yet I must, or yet I rule two hemispheres, what am I? During force construction, if I have a character named Riddler on my force, the robot Minotaur can be added for only 50 points, which is the case oh, here. Oh, sure. And then he's got solving the riddle of the Minotaur. When an opposing character targets a robot Minotaur with outwit or perplex, roll a d6 on a 1 through 3 after resolutions, give robot Minotaur an action token. If I have a character named Riddler on my force, the action token is only given on a one or two. But anytime Calder outwits or perplexes him, I have to do that. Mm. Yes. Cool. Uh, next up is Generic Ninja. He has traded stealth at the beginning of my turn for all characters with this trait. Choose a standard power ninja has printed on this card. This turn, all friendly ninjas and ninja bystanders can use that power. This guy pairs perfectly with Roz because he makes the bystanders, but he's pretty good on his own because you can combo that charge with leap climb or sidestep. So, um, or if you're already close, you can combo it with uh, like blades and exploit or blades precision strike or whatever you might need. At least top dial. Uh, next up, the Riddler. I actually really like this guy. He's got a really good dial, um, especially in sealed. He was pretty utility piece when he is attacked you may guess the attack roll i guess if the attack roll will be odd or even if you guess your guess is correct for the finalized attack roll the attack would hit he evades the attack instead um which is always a fun thing because sometimes somebody would like guess an odd and then you'd crit hit him and it was like well can't evade right so yeah that rarely ever happened when i've played against him but uh, yeah. Next up, Talia Al Ghul. 45 points, Underworld team ability. She's got one trait. Trapped between my father and my beloved. At the beginning of the game, choose a friendly character of higher points. When that character is KO'd, after resolutions, Talia Al Ghul turn her to click 5. So she starts off with sidestep stealth and some prob, and then she moves when her beloved, I guess, is KO'd. Uh, she moves to her running shot. Improved targeting ignores hindering penetrating psychic blast, but only to target characters occupying hindering terrain click. Mm. And she has outwit on those clicks. So she becomes a decent attacker uh, after that person dies. 
It has to be higher than 45 points. So for this game, we'll be picking the Riddler. Um, that's her beloved, I guess. Next up is Leslie Tompkins, also known as the point fill piece. So she is sidestep and support. When she uses it to target a character with the Batman family keyword, which I have zero of, I believe, I can roll a d6. If the result of that roll is less than the target's current click number, increase the result of the support roll to heal by plus one. And then she has regular support on her last click. Uh, Talia has Batman family. I think I'm assuming that's going to be the only one. Yeah. Um, and we've got the ventriloquist with Scarface dummy. The Scarface dummy gives him four range, energy explosion, and range combat expert. And that's about it. When the ventriloquist uses leadership and succeeds, instead of removing action tokens, I can generate a suited henchman. Um, mm. I have to roll for it. Uh, he can start the game with, yeah, leadership mastermind when he has it equipped. And then also when he has it equipped, if he would take damage from an attack, you can choose to unequip Scarface and take a max of one damage instead. So you kind of have a get out of jail free card when you have that equipped. Um, then we've got Raj al Ghul. He has loyal Ubu always by my side. And you can see Ubu there. He's got sidestep close combat expert. Uh, then he's got the League of Shadows for his first three clicks, sidestep stealth. He's got leadership mastermind, and then when he uses leadership and succeeds, instead of removing an action token, you can generate a ninja bystander with a max of three, and those ones can also get powers from the regular ninja's trait. So they get on their dial, or on their card, they have leap climb, precision strike, super senses with decent stats. Three range isn't amazing, but it's something. And then finally, I have the Phantasm, who has the Mystics team ability, which is nice. Um, not a lot of reducer, though. Uh, so I've got Smoke Cloud is free, and then free move, but only through uh, squares with her Smoke Cloud markers. After resolutions, remove each of these markers she moved through. So uh, I can free smoke and then free move into one of those, which is okay. It's not bad. Because I think you technically remove the marker that she ends in. I don't remember exactly how that works. You technically move through the square that you end up in, I think. Um, Blades, Claws, Fangs. Modify attack plus two when targeting only lower point characters. So anything under 75 points. And then I have sporadically perplex, but only to target opposing characters. So I actually really like this Phantasm a lot. I used to, I used to play her quite a bit. Yeah. That like free move is pretty big, and then uh, before hindering was just auto ignore. That improved yeah. hindering was also really nice. But it's like a pseudo charge. But that is, that is everything for Team Batman animated series. Fantastic. So, for Team Earth X, we're going to start off with Stegron here. Uh, retro regeneration, retro generation, right? Excuse me. Bystanders in this card are dinosaurs. Beginning of the game, generate one of each dinosaur. Power, generate a dinosaur if that dinosaur is not already on the map. Second trait, stampede, double power. This turn, Stegron and his dinosaurs have free move, then make a close attack. So he double power actions, and then every single one of these guys can move. Now, that's when. Obviously, you guys are also looking at the dinosaurs during this. They don't move very fast. Uh, so it can give some extra reach to, like, the Brontosaurus and the T-Rex because they also have some way to move besides this. But besides that, it's not great. Now, the rules change is pretty amazing with these guys because now they can't be pushed to death, which is pretty... Or in to death. Not that they could be in anyways. Yeah, so battle three. But yeah, that's Stegron and his dinosaurs. Well, also... All the bystanders get that willpower roll on a three through six. Also true. So, yeah, they all have. That's pretty amazing, quite actually. A bit it's scarier. pretty dumb. Yeah. Next up, Montana. New boss every week. Doesn't matter, but I can choose a character with mastermind and leadership. He gets the keywords. We'll take uh, Mr. Negative Tamagia keyword. Because it's not, uh, no, actually, we're going to take Mr. Negative's politician keyword. Because it doesn't matter. Oh, no, he still doesn't matter. Never mind. He's out there. <laughs> Uh, right on, cowboy. When an opposing character moves through a square adjacent to Montana, after resolutions, you may place Montana in adjacent to that character, so he follows you. Once you're adjacent, he's adjacent for life. And That's then he has fun. trust up like a turkey on Thanksgiving. Incapacitate Montana uses it and hits. After resolutions, you may choose one. Place hit characters adjacent to Montana, or a hit character gains a mobile to your next turn. Really good stuff right there. 
Next up, we got the Man of Spiders here. Special speed power. Everyone has power, so my only responsibility is to my daughter. Leap plot. When Spider-Man moves, after resolutions, you may choose a friendly character adjacent to a square he moves through. If you do, place that character adjacent, and it can't be given a cost of action this turn. So it's a weird carry ability, but it does allow him to carry people that wouldn't normally be carried or allowed to be carried, which is really cool. Blue Union Jack. He's got the stiff upper lip trait. Uh, when Blue Union Jack is damaged by an opponent's attack after resolutions, remove an action token from him. He's got a decent amount of health, so it's not too bad. And he's got a leadership power, enhancement, leadership. And when Blue Union Jack uses it and succeeds, on the character's modify attack plus one until your next turn. So it's pretty cool leadership when a lot of leaderships are like, it can do this or the other thing. Like the making bystanders leadership is you forego that leadership succeeding, and then you get a bystander. This one was like, both happens. It's all good things for Blue Union Jack, which is really nice. And he's a really great attacker, running shot and blast. I really, really dig it. Mr. Negative. Look at all that black and white. I never played Mr. Negative when he came out. He has New York Crime Boss leadership mastermind. When Mr. Negative uses leadership and succeeds, instead of removing an action token, you may generate two hired funky bystanders. Uh, he has special speed power. Light and dark, free. Choose sidestep or stealth until your next turn. He needs to choose power. He has his special demons power, which is uh, resolent uh, toughness. Mr. Negative can't be knocked back. Wow. Good for Mr. Negative, I guess. And then he has a damage power that's on clicks three through six, which is empower, exploit, and support. Ugh. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, next up, we have the Hulk. Oh, he got a trait, the Hulk. How did yeah, I see, and I never guy. played him either. I, uh, I did play cool. him a few uh, times because he's actually pretty solid. He's just, um, I actually might try he, playing him with like the new Galactus. He's way know. better now. I don't know. He's really way yeah, better. The because pushing, I guess that's the big thing. So well, yeah, no pushing tokens. and he can remove tokens. He doesn't even, like now with him being a giant, he can remove tokens. He doesn't have pushing anymore. So, like, you don't need to use Bruce as much. So if you actually do use Bruce, which you probably won't, now you don't feel bad about not using Bruce because he has great ways to keep tokens off him anyways. So it's pretty it's pretty awesome. Anyways, at the beginning of the game, generate a Bruce bystander. As long as Bruce is on the map, when Hulk would be given an action token, you may instead give Hulk a soul token and you don't clear his action tokens this turn. And Bruce is KO'd. After resolutions, remove all of Hulk's soul tokens and deal him two unavoidable damage for each removed token. So this is what we're saying, guys. Like, now you really don't even need to do that anymore, which is really cool. And so now if Bruce dies, it's like, okay, you got rid of Michael Flex. Awesome. You know, it's really about it. Well, you still then he has a special want, damage power. You still want to get the three dial. soul tokens because of that special damage. Ooh, but I still, I'd prefer not taking six unavoidable damage. You know what I, I mean? guess, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Battle Fury, if Hulk has one or more soul, soul tokens, he has Protected Outwit. If he has three or more soul tokens, he has Protected Penetrating Psychic Blast and Exploit Weakness. Which, once again, it depends on who you're playing. I don't know if you necessarily need to get to three soul tokens, but like one soul token is pretty legit to have at least Protected Outwit. That's fair, you know? And last, but certainly not least, actually, we'd say the best. We saved the best for last. That's Captain America Resilient here. Uh, so his continuity trait is when he dies, uh, choose an opponent. Once per turn for the rest of the game, he may force you to reroll an attack roll. This is a really crippling continuity effect. and I'm not, I've never been a fan of it, never liked it, but uh, it is what it is. He has a plus one plot point free. Move up to one square and then make a close attack fan of that the second plus one plot point is free until your next turn friendly characters modify defense value plus two when targeted by mind control how much mind control you got over there simian uh i think zero pretty sure oh wow wow yeah no scare and then his last trait is well this isn't his last one but he also has free plus one plot point move each other friendly character one square so he's got a lot of plus one freeze and he only has one negative three and it's not like a one of those big negatives where it's game changing, but it is a really cool negative. Uh, I'm sorry I failed you, but the war ends now. Negative three plot points. Power. Place Captain America into a square that is adjacent to both an opposing character and a square of hindering or blocking terrain. 
then make a close attack. If Captain America KOs an opposing character with that attack, give him three plot points. So he can just kind of keep doing this if he keeps KOing, and he starts with one plot point, which is really cool. I've made some really cool things happen with that negative three uh, to win some games and stuff, which is really cool, but we'll see how it we'll see how it turns out in this game. So yeah, that's it. That's everything, ladies and gents. Wow, look at all those figures. I won map. This is a 500-point game. By the way, everybody, in case you weren't aware. So, I don't need to roll any leaderships to start off. I will choose sidestep with what's-his-face, Mr. Negative. I don't think I have any other beginning-of-the-turn actions. So, we're going to go ahead. Now, all the dinosaurs have Battle Fury. It doesn't mean they can't carry it just means they can't be carried now that carry doesn't give you negative one speed they're they're pretty all right actually which is kind of cool so we are going to go ahead to have a stegosaurus one two three four carrying mr negative here stegosaurus high standards don't have the cool Hopper, so we're gonna have to do that. I uh, move the T Rex, he'll carry Stegron. Stegron, plop him there. Mm, we got 500 points. We get six actions. Let's see. Love the Hulkster move there. Hearing the good captain here. Both cap perplex up the Hulk's defense. And we'll say that Bruce perplexed up his defense before he moved as well. Spider-Man, go ahead and move. I guess we'll move him there for now. Bring Union Jack along with to me one, two, three, four actions. So we can't have the Brontosaurus. One, two, three. Carry up good old Montana. Montana. I guess we can have Bruce move, although I guess he's Whatever wouldn't have counted against me anyways, which is neat. I guess we'll just have Bruce move to there. And with that, it is your go, Simeon. All right. Let me double check. Uh, sidestep stealth. So at the beginning of the game, I generate Ubu. So I'm going to make him there. Um, man, oh man. Let's see, we can go seven with the Minotaur. Could go there. I don't know if that's any good, but I can do it. I think we'll just go, we'll go one, two, three, four. Let's go to here with the Minotaur carrying the Riddler. Drop the Riddler right there. We will sidestep Roz to here carrying Ubu. I thought Ubu gave Roz like a plus one. Is that not listed here? I guess not. So maybe not. Um, we'll have him sidestep. Ubu has the underworld team ability, and so does Rachel Ghoul. So uh, Talia will sidestep one, two to there. And then I think.
gonna have her move to here, carrying Rachel Ghoul. We will move the Phantasm. One, two, three. Nowhere near seven squares. We'll go. I think here's fine. That seems like a good option. And then free smoke cloud, which I forgot to get some smoky tokens. What a good movie, that Mask of the Phantasm. Oh boy, I tell you what. Yeah. Not terrible. Or possibly <laughs> terrible, because I don't remember it. You're shaking so together. Uh, I've sorry. never seen it. I was just saying that to be nice, to be real with you. <laughs> we we'll smoke <laughs> these squares. Go here and here. All right. So next, I'm going to sidestep the ventriloquist. I'll go forward one, two. I'm going to sidestep leslie tompkins to there sidestep satana forward ish she's gonna move i think seven one two three four she'll go there and then she's gonna free make a bat right right there that's fine um we'll do that that's action four and then we will um, move Coyote Ken for my last action this turn, I think. Coyote Ken. So, Coyote gotcha. Ken. Gotcha. We'll go gotcha. Ken. Nine squares. Mr. Ken. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can go all the way to here. And I'll give him an action token. And I think that's where I end my turn. My ninja's not doing anything. Does he have anything interesting he can pick later in his dial? No, he does not. So he will just stay as he is. All right. Getting in my turn. I'm not Mr. Negative Leadership. Ails. Stegron. I don't know why I said Stegron. We'll say that was Blue Union Jack's leadership. Next up, Brontosaurus. That's it. Cool. Good for the Brontosaurus. Next up, Stegosaurus. That's it. Good for the Stegosaurus. Next up, T-Rex. Uh, I think a three gets it, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. it's a three through six. Yeah. Last, certainly not least, Hulk. Five. Okay. Hulk got it. Good stuff. Whoops. Yeah, I could press these little buttons and change my stats. I'm not going to do that. We can keep those in mind. But, anyways, forgot. Forgot that those little black uh, plus and minuses could change my stats. It's very funny, oh, yeah. though. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So now we're rocking. We're rocking a pretty, pretty solid, uh, whatever. Pretty, pretty uh, action tokeny free team right now. Feeling pretty good with where we're at. Um, I think we will perplex up Hulk's attack with Stephen, Mr. Stephen Rogers, Captain America Resolent here. Turn out Resolent, he really is. Um, let's see. Here, the Hulk do that. Get one. We got giant reach. Yeah. Hulk charge. Go in one, two, three, four, five. Picking up that heavy object as he goes. Mm. With a 13 attack, we're going to swing on the old phantasm there. See what See what happens. Okay. See what happens. Uh, 
Oh, yes. Yeah, that will hit a 20. So that is pretty uh, good. If you need a five. Holster. I'll go ahead and prob it with Zatanna since she probably won't be able okay. to see any other attacks. Uh, that's a one and a two, so that will miss. Will be a three, so we'll just destroy this object. Is the way it be? The way it be like that? So it certainly do be like that sometimes. All right. Oh hum, oh hum. Double power. Let's see. Double power move now. Not gonna get very far. I think the dinosaurs are second stringers in this uh, in this event here. Let's go ahead. Steve, where do you want to go? You can move up at full speed and then move one. Move one square, punch somebody. You can do that. It's a thing you could do, Steve. It's a thing you could do. A lot of stealth to worry about right now. Not a huge fan of that. Yeah, a lot of traded stealth in background True. sets. All right, let's see. Tusk C. The stairs. Stairs are in front. Okay, okay. All right, we got the Hulkster moved up. I don't think we're going to worry too much about uh, anything else this turn. We're going to get Mr. Negative choosing that sidestep. That brontosaurus, one, two, three. We can go right there. Bring in Montana with us again. The T Rex. Move the T Rex in there. I'll move Stegron here. All right, Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus moved up to there. Slap Mr. Negative to there. And then, you know, good old, good old Spider-Man. One, two, three, four. I'll just move right here. You know, blue Union Jack to right there. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five. We got one more action, uh, which isn't really an action. We'll bring up Bruce. One, two, three, four. Not pushing to death on old Bruce because that's not a thing. Anymore. Wow, so cool. And we'll have Bruce. He'll perplex up the T Rex's defense since that's one of the few. Yeah, for some reason it's going to hide Bruce in that sandwich tokens. But yeah, it is, it is what it is. Anyways, it is your turn, Simeon. All right. I have leadership with Raish oh, leadership with Raish al Ghul. Let's see if I get a ninja. I do not. Leadership with uh, the ventriloquist. That's the other one. And Justice League with Zatanna. I don't know if she can even pull off of herself. I think it's other friendly characters, but I'm not sure. Um, let's see. One, two, three. I think I'm just going to try and pummel the Hulk this turn, since he's probably the only one I can reach. Uh, did you give him a soul token turn one? I did not. Oh, so he is Didn't not need to. Outwit. Didn't want to. I will, I will outwit his invincible with the Riddler. Mm. And that's no good. Smoke cloud's gonna go away, but it's gonna take a while for me to take it out from under characters, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. Uh, I believe Kyoto Ken gets a plus one. Let me double check here. A plus one attack when he attacks a character of equal or more points. So I'm gonna start off with him. He's gonna charge. Gonna have a twelve with blades. 
and the Hulk's 17. Yeah. Ooh, that will hit. That will hit. I will roll for blades. Whoa. A two, two, which is my printed damage anyhow. That does not help me because that was my only outwit. Um, let's see, let's see. I do have the ability to let's see. I could sidestep this guy here. Hulk's a giant. So what we will do is he do be pretty big. Even though for some reason his sculpt is smaller than everybody else in this yeah, in my set so my, for whatever reason, I don't know why. Minotaur yeah, the big giant. guys are actually the smallest for some reason. Um, we'll sidestep Zatanna to... Let's see. Oh yeah, he can just see over everybody. So if he's here, that would be fine. That's four squares. Um... So we will perplex the Hulk's defense down with Satana. Sidestepper to here. Generate another bat here. Sidestep my ventriloquist to here. And then he's got ranged combat expert giving him a 10 attack plus one damage. And then the two bats with enhancement will bring him up to a four damage. A suddenly very impressive ventriloquist. So he needs an uh, seven to hit. Ooh, that will hit. All right, pretty big imperv roll here. Oh, oh. Look a little cocked. It says the six. We look a little cocked. I'm just gonna do a little R thing. That is a four. For how much damage again? Yeah, two enhancements. Four. Four. Yeah, so he's one, printed one two. with a plus three right now from enhancement nice. range combat expert. Very good. Not too shabby for the little ventriloquist man. Um, I suppose Ra's al Ghul will attempt to blades him. Uh, we'll hit for impervious here. Oh, actually, well, you gotta roll blades first. Yeah. See if I can even do more than two damage. No. No. Will not <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Not good. And then finally, let's see. Is that? No, it's in cap on the Riddler. It just looks like uh, Pensai. I will charge with my Minotaur. One, two. I'll charge with him to here and attempt to blades your Hulk with him as well. His sad 10 attack. Need a 6 to hit. Oh, that that will hit. We'll do it with my blades okay. of. Oh, A one. Ah. So two, which will be technically a two, nothing. but yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. From there I think Phantasm's just going to drop the same smoke and I will clear Phantasm. Okay. I need a action token on oh, I accidentally put it on uh Talia. So an action token on Rachel Ghoul. And I will move this ninja eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Nice. We're going to roll for leadership now. First off, Mr. Negative's leadership. Oh, it's three. Next up, uh, the Blue Union Jack's leadership. Oh, it is five. 
So I think everybody's going to modify their attack value plus one this turn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They've token off Spider Man as well. Uh, next up, the let's do, I guess, start from the back. Brontosaurus willpower. That's two. We'll use this dice instead. Uh, Stegosaurus willpower. Ooh, it's a one. Not good. T Rex willpower. Oh, six. T Rex wants to play a little bit. T Rex wants to play a little bit. Hulk willpower. And I have to two. Hulk doesn't want to play this turn. Hulk don't want to play. All right, that's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Seems the way it is. The way it be sometimes, man. It's the way it be. All right. And so. And so. Here we are. Um, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead. Let's see. We have a lot of stuff going on. Mr. Negative will choose sidestep again. I don't even think I used it last turn, but we're going to choose sidestep again. Let us see. That's a good spot where he can sidestep to. And you know what? He'll actually he'll do a little move action. He'll do a little little move action action here. He'll go to here. He'll outwit. Can I outwit the robot Minotaur? It's a roll, right? You got a roll. Yeah, it just gives me another action token though. If I roll okay, I'll see if two. I can if I can outwit your defense. Well, no, you. That you would can have given you an action. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. okay. The roll so is strictly matter. like an extra penalty on top of being outwitted. No. Sure. Yeah. All right. So defense is now outwitted. Amazing. Uh, amazing. I'm gonna have Captain America flex up his attack value. He's gonna running shot. One, two, three, four. Ooh, actually, we'll perplex up Captain America's speed. Ah, uh, no, actually, no. He can go there. That's his attack value. 13 against the robot Minotaurs. 17. Oh, that, that will hit. hit. For three damage. Three whole damage. I know what Captain America activate plus one plot point. Go to additional value. Go to two. He'll move one square and then he'll punch somebody. And we will now punch the Riddler. All right. I will say evens for the roll. Evens. All right, so if it's an odd, the attack will actually land. I don't know. It was even. It was a 10. Look at that. Too, too riddly for the captain. Truly. Truly too riddly, this guy. Too much riddle-related nonsense going on. All right. Next up, Blue Union Jack. He's going to do a little, uh, a little thing we like to call running shot energy explosion. He has Captain America at a 14 attack. Should have perplexed up something else. We all have plus one attack this turn. So, Blue Union Jack. Uh, he's gonna run a shot. He's gonna go against the robot right Minotaur. Or does he have psychic uh, blast? No, he's got pen. He has pen blast. Oh, okay. The red has energy explosion. Yeah. Blue. I think. Does blue, blue get it? Uh, this guy. Huh? Does uh, he not get energy see. explosion at some point? He does not get it. He gets precision strike later. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So he's a, he's an eleven against the robot Minotaur here. Yeah, that's so bad. That's a five. Not good. That hit a. Well, it was a four. So I hit a fifteen. Pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. Blue Union Jack. Ugh. Hmm. So bad. All right. So that's three actions. Let's see. If we double power now, we can do some pretty wicked, gnarly, fun stuff. Let's. Let's look. We got a lot of combat reflexes over here, Simeon. Gotta say, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Uh, but Hulk is going to go ahead. He'll try to punch Talia Al Ghul, actually. Oh. He'll be a 12. She, Hulk she, or 18. Me or does she? Care. Well, I got Battle Fury. Okay, so it wouldn't matter if she does. I'll hit a 19. 19. I will. I'll prob it with Zatanna. Because, again, I probably won't be able to see any other tech this turn with her. Ah, Ooh. that will hit her for 
How much damage is he? Three? Three, One, three two, damage. Three. That is just enough. Oh, she I, I to will give Holt a super special click. whatever token. What do they call the end? A soul token? I'll give Hulk a soul token for that. Boo. Give him protected outwit so he can get a token. Can't clear tokens this turn. No. Not that he would be allowed to anyways. Alright, uh, so that's one, two, three, four actions. Let's see. Really, we can really cause some mayhem. Stay at one, two. Five, six. He can get to there. The rest of these guys, one, two, three, four, five. He can get to there. This dude can go one, two, three, four. With giant reach, he can get to there. So everybody but the Brontosaurus can do something. And I think we'll take that L. Uh, the Brontosaurus isn't amazing. So I'll be fine with that. So we will double power action Stegron. Let all him and all his dinosaurs have free move and then make a close attack. So Stegron go first. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want to go in that smoke cloud though. Now let's go. Don't do that. We'd have to move through Hulk Square. Um, sure, we'll take the negative one because we all have plus one this turn, so it's fine. So we'll go there. We'll try to swing on. Yeah, she's on higher elevation, right? So we have to swing on what's his face. Uh, Phantasm's just in hindering. Oh, she is. Oh, okay. Well, actually, they'll move move this guy here, so he'll punch her. Okay. Not to get that negative one, so it'll be an eleven attack against Phantasm. Oh, and that will hit. That's another 10. Jeez. Rolling pretty high on these 10s. Super senses says... I take the damage. Uh, are you rolling for blades? I think now... Uh, I can. A... I will. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. <clears throat> ah. One damage. So two damage. Amazing. One, two. And I will I'll deal take... with a Mystics. Yeah, Mystics. 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 No! This is the worst part about this figure, I always forget this, is that he does the cool thing, and then he no longer has Empower for all his dinosaurs. And he could have used Empower, but now here we are, Stegron land. Next up, T-Rex. Uh, gonna cause some havoc, I guess. I guess. Uh, so... T-Rex, uh, it'll move here. Uh, we don't want to attack Phantasm with T-Rex, so we'll attack, uh, I guess, Raza Ghoul. be 11 to his 19. Pretty, uh, pretty stout stuff. Oh, it doesn't get it doesn't get a token. What am I, what am I doing? So, yeah, 11 to a 19, the old T-Rex. Ooh, that will hit. 21. Dang, I will... T-Rex will just deal with free damage. Oh, yeah. Let me double okay. check. Yeah, I will deal, uh, I will mastermind it to Ubu. Okay. My faithful bodyguard or whatever. Okay, I gotcha. Take it, Sora, it's gonna go one, two, three, and four. It'll attack the Riddler. Hmm, I will say odd. Odd. All right, so we're shooting for even with this roll. That hey, is that'll that is even. It'll hit a fifteen though, so probably not. No, off very by, sad. Off very by sad. a mighty two. He tried. He tried. All right, and then we'll move Brontosaurus, big three squares. Move him up here. We'll take Montana with us as we go. All right, so that's that. One, two, three, four, five actions. We do have one more action we can take. So I think we probably give it to the T-Rex. Yeah, we'll have the T-Rex charge somewhere. Where do I want that T-Rex to charge to? The T Rex tar charge up to here and try to take out old Leslie. Wow. She did nothing to Yeah, it's 11. 
Exactly. She'll never get the chance. I'm gonna stuff. Ugh, here, I pulled an overkill there on the eight. Uh, does he have a printed I'll steal three? three? Yeah, I think three. Does a printed out. three? One, two, three. Yes. All right, and then I'll clear. Little Bruce, he'll perplex his own defense, I suppose. All right. I'll also clear the Brontosaurus. He's only giving three actions. Clear Spider Man. But actually, I will sidestep. It's your negative one square. Not that it matters, but yeah, it's your go. All right, I've got willpower on a three through six with the Minotaur. That will that will succeed. So he'll remove an action token. <laughs> Um, leadership with Rachel Ghoul. Whoa. That's a two. Leadership with the Ventriloquist. That's a four. And I'm pretty sure that's all of my rolls. So that is all I can really do right there. Uh, let's see. It's quite clustery. Let me see if I can get a better angle that's not as... That's all right there. Um... Can't quite do a top-down perspective in this, because then everybody disappears. Yeah. So you kind of got to do like a weird side angle somehow. I think we will just have good old Zatanna perplex down the Hulk's defense and try and psychic blast with her two enhancements next oh, good call. Good call. So it'll be a 10 into a 16 for potentially 16. 4 damage. Ooh, it's going to be a little dicey here, fellas. It's going to be a little dicey. That is going to hit. Ah! It hurts. It's going to KO the Hulk. We're still stick around, I guess. I guess so. Uh, I guess Bruce is just here. Uh, I gotta get this smoke cloud out of here for now, because it's just really messing with how I can perceive things currently. Okay, Raish was here, I believe. Um. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's I could try and do that. That'd be terrible. Um I think we're gonna go after Stagron for now. Not that he's doing much next turn, but I'm gonna sidestep the ventriloquist one, two, carrying this bat to here. And then Zatanna is going to sidestep. Go right there, carrying this bat here. And Ventriloquist will just shoot at Stagron with his 10 for 4 again. Between. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. I'm not a but, fan of these bats. That I don't like them. I don't like them. Need a 7. Probably you're gonna crit hit there too. All right, ten for four. I'll take three. All right, Stagron's not vibing. He's not feeling great. He's not loving life right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. What, he doesn't uh, care for where he's at. Phantasm hasn't done any attacks this game, so let's see what they've got going on. Perplex, but only to target opposing characters. Uh, I could have used that. Blades, claws, fangs, but only lower point characters, which Stagron is not. He has same points characters. So, Phantasm will uh, perplex Stagron's defense down and then attempt to Blades. So, 10 into All right. 16. Oh, thankfully that will miss. That is a 5. But I do have a prob from Zatanna still. So, I will prob that one. That will hit. For oh, it's blades, I guess. Um, 
printed too. So yeah, for an amount of one, good, uh, good. I think I'll be able to produce it. That is literally the only thing that you could have rolled. Wow, getting a little lucky there, Stegron. Getting a little lucky. I've rolled some pretty bad blades rolls this game, mm -hmm. um, and I've had Not plenty good. of them. Kirin that is true. Is double tokened. I like where Raish is at. My ninja can pick sidestep and potentially move somewhere, so he could. Currently, he could charge one, two, three, four, and get to Captain America. He could pick sidestep and then go one, two, three, four. I could throw yet another attack at Stegron. Um, I think I'll just do that. I'll go after the dinosaur man one last time. So his trade is... Oh, it's at the beginning of the turn. I have to pick that. So I ah. cannot pick that. So I will just charge at Captain America. One, two, three. Well, there's a dinosaur. Let's see. One, two... One, two, three, four. And Once you move in a Riddler square, you have to stop. Because you, then you're just Captain America. I'm not moving you can get to the square. square. I'm just going. Okay, yeah, you, you can just go. Yeah, you can go here. Yeah, yeah for sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, Look at that beautiful 18. 10 into an 18 for blades. This could be bad, ladies and gentlemen. Fear not. He's okay, Captain America, so he's gonna he's gonna fail his roll. Not even roll an eight. Uh, and I did roll an eight. Okay, he's gonna roll another one on. But I don't even want to say that. I don't want to jinx it. Roll some ridiculous number, and I'll be like, no, Cap Resi, no. Ah, three. It's all right. It's better than my printed damage. So there's that. Um, Riddler will try and break away for sidestep. That will not succeed. He will... Why does the Stegosaurus look like it has support? That's probably... Or exploit it's Battle Fury, yeah. Oh, no, it's Battle, Battle Fury. Fury. They all okay. have Battle Fury. It's yeah. Really. Um, I can see the T-Rex, I guess. So I'll outwit the T-Rex's blades. That's what I will okay. not know. He's doing three damage. Yeah, I'll get rid of his blades with Riddler. Um, let's see, that's one, two, three, four. Phantasm, Ventriloquist, Zatanna, Ninja. I guess my robot Minotaur can... He can kind of move freely because... There's no one adjacent to him currently. He could also just try and attack Cap Resi with blades. I think he has exploit. And I forgot about that earlier. Yeah, he's still got exploit, so. Uh, what's the harder target? They're both 17s. Yeah. Uh, Robot Minotaur is just going to attempt to blades exploit Captain America Resilient. Okay. That will hit. Just barely. And it'll deal knockback, which will sadly deal nothing. Otherwise, it could have been a killing blow for sure. Oh. One. Damage. Ah, not good. You do have exploits that will go through, though. We'll deal at least one. And that's an action on Robot Minotaur. Um. drop my smoke or not I think I will just because so we'll go this square we'll go this square this square then we'll do one in this guy's square okay that's fine just balance on his head one in this guy's square and one in Raish's square. Raish al Ghul. And... Yeah. Um, 
Raish didn't do anything this turn, so he clears, I think. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, who else clears? Kyoto, Kyoto Ken. Kyoto Ken. He clears. And that is all I can do. Alrighty then. Beginning of my turn. Let's start off with some leaderships and some willpowers, ladies and gentlemen. First up, Mr. Negative. Damn, rolling a three. Next up, Blue Union Jack. Four. Very sad. Uh, let's do the T Rex. E. Get five on the T Rex. Taking a token off the T Rex. Nobody else has tokens. I believe it has willpower. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no one else has tokens as willpower. So, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Very fun. Very fun. All righty then. What are we doing? What's going on? One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and have... That's about where to get some 10 attacks. Having the prob is really hurting me. I tell you what. I tell you what. We're going to have... What's his face? Mr. Negative. Choose sidestep. I'll have him, him sidestep up. All the way up to here. I'm going to have Stegron try to sidestep breakaway. See what we can make have happen. Ooh, a six. Very nice. Stegron will sidestep. Go to there. Go to there. Okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, that changes a little bit, a little bit of the things that we could do. Makes it a very interesting potential turn here. All right. Yeah, I don't want something to have too many rerolls, so we got to be a little careful of what's going on here. It's got a super senses roll or a Riddler roll. Let's have Stegosaurus go against the ninja. I think that blades is very scary, so. Mm. Thank you, Sword. It's going to swing on that ninja man. Um, Actually, before we do that... A seven. Or, let's have little Billy, little Brucey, move four to here. Two, three, four, five. What is that? Let's see. Let's see. Nah, he can't see that square. It'll go into the thing. Well... Or I guess Bruce could just move somewhere else, but never mind. No, he actually can't because it's blocking. All right, cool. Bruce will still move there. Uh, yeah, it'll be a 9 to 16. He has 7. We'll see what the old I am a Stegosaurus can do. Ooh, that'll, that'll be a 9. That would hit, except... Three whole damage. Super senses. Oh, wow, you're right. Super senses did get it. Look at that. I rarely call it impressed, quickly, but... All right, so that's one action. That's one action. Let's have the T-Rex try to take out the Ventriloquist. Not a big fan of the Ventriloquist, mm. personally. He does have Mastermind and uh, the thing that'll only give him one damage, whatever that is. Ugh. So, and adjacent to those bats, not a fan. Let's go, I guess. Zatanna, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, masterminding to bats is very lame. All right, need a big eight here, T Rex. A crit hit will also do fine. That is a six, so I'll fail. In action, not in love. Not in love here. Uh, let's see. Got some choices. We got some choices. I'm going to have. Blue Union Jack now. He's going to go ahead. He'll shoot. Penetrating Psychic Blast. Um, yeah, before we do that, let's move the Brontosaurus. One, two, three. The Brontosaurus will move there. Carrie and Bruce. Bruce will move here. He'll perplex out the attack value of Blue Union Jack. And then that'll be our third action to our fourth action for Blue Union Jack. And we'll have Blue Union Jack. 11 to 17, pen blast on the Minotaur. Oh, and that will miss. Very sad. Very sad. That is a three. Okay. Too strong. Too strong. What was that? I love that. All right. And then, let's see. We got a couple of choices here. 
I'm going to see what lives we want to try to save. We're 10 for 3 with Steve. I think we can try to take out the whatever, or we can just try to get him out of there. Just try to get him out of there. Let's see. Uh, we can go for the two punches, I suppose. So yeah, we'll punch for the first time punch against the ninja. So he'll be a 10 for 3 close combat expert, just a normal punch. Ooh, and that will hit. Super senses on the ninja says. Ah, I will take three damage. Which All right. Just kill the ninja. One, two, three. Yes. Three does. Very respectable. Good job, Cap. Good job. Now we'll go ahead and try to do this plus one free uh, to move one square and then punch. See if we can get it. Ooh, that is a six. Very nice. We'll move here, then we'll just go ahead and punch the Riddler. Let's see, we'll go with even, because Calder's been rolling a lot of evens this game. Even. So if we hit, hit the, the odd one. seven, we will succeed. Oh, that isn't even, it is a four and it'll miss. Really doubling down on it, okay. That is one, two, three dinosaurs, four with Red Union, Blue Union Jack, five with Captain America. And then for our sixth action, we're going to have Spider-Man. Uh, we'll go one, six, uh, seven, and we'll slap good old Montana right here. And we're gonna go ahead, we'll clear Mr. Negative. Here, this dude. Actually, that's all we can clear, so it's your go. All right. My smoke cloud will go away. things in the way uh let's see i will start with the robot minotaur's uh willpower since he is a large character a giant to be specific a two is what that fails on i will go with not good uh let's see i will go with rachel ghoul's leadership a two I will go with uh, Ventriloquist's leadership. A six. He can either take an action token off of somebody or generate. I think it's a much smarter move at this stage of the game to make my suited henchman. So I'll roll for his dial. A one. He will be on click one. So sidestep ranged combat expert. Not a terrible click. Uh, where do I want to place him, though? Where even can I place him? There's only one open square, so he will go to that open square. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. It's just not a lot of great stuff I can do. How does the Phantasm's power work? Can I get away? Smoke cloud free move but only three squares with their smoke cloud markers. It doesn't say place, so I would have to break away anyhow. Not great. Um, might have to just dedicate some actions to trying to get rid of Montana, which I really don't want to do. Let's... Alternatively, I could just shoot the T-Rex with Zatanna. Yeah. Let's start by doing that. Zatanna will shoot at the T-Rex. 10 into the 17 for Ooh, a lot of damage. Let's see. Really matter. Let's see. 
potential for a lot of damage. And that is going to hit the T-Rex. Nothing we can do or say about that. Very sad. He was a good little dinosaur. Who was your good dinosaur? Uh... Yeah, I can do a couple different things. I'm going to have to throw a lot of attacks at Montana. Because he's probably going to roll out of a few. Potentially. Um, Maybe. Let's see. Raish just has sidestep stealth. No charge on his dial. Yeah. Four range, though. Four range is actually decent so I could let's just sidestep race here and carry this bat with him to there uh, we will perplex up his attack with Zatanna the Riddler will outwit Captain America resilience toughness and uh, I don't like this race will shoot a 12 for 4 Thanks to my, okay. my winged friends. That wasn't a very good roll. Oh, well, hits. Well, three. Ah! I don't like it. I don't ah, like it. Good, good. That's where we're at. To me, now, once on my turn, force me to reroll an attack. Which, based on how my attack has been going, he won't have to use that much. <laughs> Um, let's see, Kyoto Ken, this Montana is only 50 points, right? You're only 50 or points, that is true. Or something. It's um, 50 points. So either way, I'm not a higher Montana. points. So, uh, Kyoto Ken will attempt to blades him. First, you have shape change with I do have shape Montana. change. Alright, that'll fail. Okay, I will have an 11. Ooh. That'll hit 21. I'm super sensitive on Montana here. That'll also fail. I will Not good. blades you for 6 damage. Wow. Oh, 5. Ooh, for 5. I think that's that actually does slaughter good. Montana. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it does kill Montana. Blade Yeehaw, no more. Very sad. Blade he was tie up, but I was hoping it would have been a little better tie up than that. Here we are. Uh, let's see. That doesn't help me at all. What is this? What is this lady? Zero range. Oh, man. So I'm at one, two, three actions this turn. Um, I think Phantasm is just going to do the smoke cloudy thing. <clears throat> Though it probably won't matter a whole lot where I place it. So we'll just do something like this. trying to help and it's making things so much worse just like in real life when you have to <laughs> just like in real the life tokens like high above the figures it's an amazing um, such an amazing simulated hero flicks game i will free move so realistic one square to next to spider -Man. Uh, yes. i think i i removed spider -Man. That smoke cloud token spider-man sure. And since Spider Man is lower points, let's see. Mm -hmm. He is lower points. Three squares with her smoke cloud marker after resolutions remove each marker she moved through. So, yeah, move through one. I have blades modify attack plus two against the lower point character. So, I'll have a 12, and then I have perplex. So, I'm already sitting at a 12 against the 17, but I suppose. I might as well perplex down Spider-Man's defense. So it's a 12 to a 16. Anything Ow, okay. Anything but a 3 or a crit miss. Oh, there's a 2. 
Oh, no, there it is. Five. That's that's what you got. Now let's see what Spider Man rolls for Super Senses. A six. Oh, big six on Super Senses. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we do it, Dad Bot Spidey. It's not great for me. Um, oh. I think. Let's see. That's one, two, three four actions my bats aren't doing anything robot minotaur is not doing anything um oh does the stegosaurus have toughness or invuln i think it's got invuln vulnerability yeah so riddler's not doing anything in caps not even going to work against battle fury huh think yeah i just have to clear uh the ventriloquist i will clear oh the ventriloquist and the robot minotaur those are the only two i clear all right that is my whole turn Ooh, okay uh leadership mr negative Get a little leadership die here Oh, it's a one fail. Leadership with the Blue Union Jack. This is very important. Uh, two, it'll fail. Uh, leadership, or not leadership, willpower with the Brontosaurus. Four. Okay, Brontosaurus, don't need that token. Now the Stegosaurus, three. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool. Failing these leaderships now. Not fun. Very fun. All right, let's see what we want to do. I think we definitely do another stampede this turn. I think that's what's in the cards. Mm. Let's see. Negative. See this guy. Can't see that guy. What do we do first? We'll uh we'll outwit the impervious and the robot minotaur. Double power will stay on here. A little bit of stampede action. Uh, before we do that, we should do perplex. We'll perplex up the Brontosaurus's attack. Stegron go there. Double power here. Let's have the old Stegosaurus. Um, let's see. Yeah, I hate rolling these nines. Well, the Stegosaurus he gets the move. Three. So you hate rolling these nines. Yeah. I, I hate rolling with these nine attacks. Oh, I thought these you said nines. These nines. It was like no. Uh, rolling with knives would also be very painful. Love well, Stegosaurus try to punch the robot Minotaur. Mm. As it's as it's thing here, it's that eight. Oh, uh, uh, that will miss. Cool, good job, Stegosaurus. Is too confusing for you once again. Uh, next up, uh, Brontosaurus one, three. It'll move to here, and then Quake. Mm. So that'll be everybody within three. The Brontosaurus, so a lot of people. Uh, I've got shape change on both bats. On the bats. So yeah, bat closest to robot Minotaur. Oh, you've got Battle Fury, right? I do have Battle Fury. Yeah, so I do. No yes, I do. Change. Never mind. Uh, so perplexed up once, so it is going to be a ten. We crit hit this one. Uh, we roll a seven. I'll hit seventeens. I will the force you to re-roll this. To me to re roll it. Gotcha. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh. That'll hit 19 with I the Brontosaurus. Prob it with Zatanna. <laughs> okay. This is where so we crit hit, crit ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, that'll hit 16s. Ugh, lame. Lame so sauce. I, that will kill both bats. Okay. And miss everything that, I else. Oh, whatever. Um, and then we get a move and we get a punch with Stegron. So one, three, four, five. We'll go to there. Go after the Riddler, I suppose. I will say uh, a odd number. Odd number. Looking for an even number so we can hit it. Uh, Ooh, that is an even. That is a 10. For nice. three damage. Three damage. Stegron will go heal three. up one. Now Riddler also has Pretty cool. Ooh, not a fan of that. I have the Brontosaurus do a costed action to uh, Quake again. Well, let's see. 
You only got so many costed actions. So let's actually give the costed action first to the Stegosaurus to punch Riddler to try to get rid of his prob. Let's see if okay. we can do that. I will say odd again. Odd again. So if we roll the seven that we need to hit, it'll get miss. Instead, it is a four, Jeez. but it will miss anyways. I should just say even every cool, time. Cool, cool. I think it's been over 50% even. Jeez. Uh, it definitely seems that way. All right, so it's one action, that's two actions. Uh, only two actions. Feels pretty cool that that is indeed only two actions. Uh, let's go ahead. Man, I want that Brontosaurus so bad to get this Quake off. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can get that Quake off on this Brontosaurus. It's going to have to roll it twice. All right. But we'll see what we can do. Even I guess Riddler would also be a target of the Quake. Yeah, even. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to. So we still have 10. That'll hit. That will miss the Riddler, technically. That is an 8. I'll hit 18s. I will prob it with the Riddler. Okay. It'll prob it. Just so now we need to get, like, an 11 or something missing. ridiculous. Uh, that is a 6. It'll hit 16s again, which really sucks for the Brontosaurus. That would hit the Riddler. Oh, man. But I, did I pick odds with it the Riddler? Is, it is even. You, no, you picked even. Okay. You picked even. Yeah, he took it even. Ugh. Mega Bummer. Not a fan. Well, let's see. That's blocking. Okay. Well, side step one, two, with Mr. Negative here. Uh, the whatever needs a giant. So we'll go ahead and shoot him. Shoot that Minotaur. It's an 11 to the 17. Try to get rid of that Minotaur at the very least this turn. Which are very sad rolls. Not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, that will hit for three damage. Actually, four, I guess. The leadership on or enhancement on bleeding and jack. Did you get rid of my impervious? Yeah, I outwitted it with Mr. Oh. Negative. I outwitted it like the first thing this turn, hoping these quakes would hit. Damage. But nope. No such thing. Four, actually. Yeah. But not, maybe He's it doesn't matter. After like two. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. That is one, two, three, four actions. It's Spider Man and Punch. Let's go. She is Toughness. Phantasm. Yeah. If you punch the, uh, what's his face? The suit punch that guy. Suit Henchman. That wow, a 10. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Spider-Man. Really appreciate that, buddy. Really cool of you. So, so cool. So cool. All right. Yeah, we'll clear the Blue Union Jack, and we'll clear old Bruce. Say it's your go, Simeon. Let me set a die to one. Put it on my suited henchman card. One has been KO'd. Ooh. Uh, let's see here. Uh, first, I will roll leadership with Rachel Ghoul. No, not a leader at all this game. I will roll leadership with Ventriloquist. That actually does work. I don't know if he shares any keywords with Zatanna. Let me. I highly doubt it. Gotham City Underworld and Arkham Asylum, so no. And he's definitely not higher points. So I will just make another suited henchman on a click number. Two, which is the charge quake dial. That's pretty good. It's not awful. At least he's got moving attack. Um, let's set him here for now. Let's see, let's see. I think the Phantasm is going to go after Spider-Man again. I will perplex his defense down again, so I've got that 12 into the 16. Don't need a lot to hit, just need you to miss super senses. Right. Okay. No, another big six on the senses with Spider-Man. He's no slouch. Hmm. Really wish he was. I mean, he looks like Spider-Man came 
who he kind of does look like a slouch. Let's be real. But he um, came to freaking party today. He came to freaking party. Let's see here. It's not a good position for that guy at all. At least not yet. Uh, let's have Brontosaurus just has toughness. Let's have Coyote Ken attack the Brontosaurus. Okay. Actually, it has Impervious. Oh, does it have Impervious? Yeah, no. it has Impervious. T-Rex is toughness, and then Stegosaurus. T-Rex is toughness. This dude's Impervious. Um, Stegosaurus is invulnerability. Uh, yeah, we can have two shots at it. Yeah, we'll have Coyote Ken uh, try and Blades. Okay. The Brontosaurus. 11 and 5. 16. Got it. That will hit. We'll see if I, I need three or higher to deal damage. Ooh, okay. Brontosaurus needs to roll some real good input, then. All right, that's a Brontosaurus. All right. Now, I think a decent option for me. I will perplex up the ventriloquist's attack with Zatanna and mm -hmm. sidestep him to here. And I will energy explode targeting Blue Union Jack. So mm, okay. 11 into numbers. This is not good for us. We're not fans of this, ladies and gentlemen. We are not fans. Exactly. Try rolling that again. I mean, that was pretty bad. It's hard to hold on to these virtual dice. Sometimes they. Uh, just... Hopefully, we had a good crit and miss here. Uh, no, that is going to be fine. So that's going to hit everybody for two damage. So that's going to take away old Bruce. Really sucks. Mr. Negative for one. King Blue and Jack for one. King Stegron for one. Let's see here token on ventriloquist uh i can't really get my i could try and quake spider-man with my suited henchman but that's about all i could do i could sidestep Roz and try and shoot i think i'll do that i will generate a bat with satana sidestep raj to here carrying my bat and he will attempt to shoot at Stagron for three damage. Yep. Ooh, for four damage. Good three. lord. That'll actually probably kill Stagron. One, two, three. Yeah, it's three. With it. No, I didn't need that crit hit to kill him, yeah. Just One dinosaur left. The whole time. How's that? Uh, let's see. I don't think I gave him an action token for that. So there's his action token for that. One, two, three. Did Zatanna? Uh, I think she was double token this turn. So that's four because Phantasm. Phantasm, Coyote Ken, uh, Ventriloquist, Ray Shall Ghoul. Uh, it doesn't make a ton of sense to try and quake with the suited henchman, but I will anyhow. He'll charge to here. Going after Spider Man. Yeah. He will need a whopping seven attack or seven roll to hit. That will hit. I think one of my dice went through the table. Spidey can get on the super senses. Oh, third six in a row for Spider-Man. All right, I will clear Zatanna. Yeah, I think that's the only person I clear. What a guy! What a guy! Yeah. If only my outwit was still around. Very impressed, old Spider-Man. All right, so Blue Union Jack leadership, very important. All right, I'm going to quit doing that dumb thing. All right, let's do whatever. It's this guy's leadership. Black man. Mr. Negative. Uh, no one else can roll for any willpower, so this is where we're at. 
Okay, cool. So we do have a little bit of enhancement. We can do a little trolling, uh, which is pretty cool. Let's have Mr. Negative take a shot on Raza Ghoul. Be a 10 for 4. Be pretty okay. He can hit the 7, that is. He does hit it. He's got a 10. Did you outwit anything on him first? No, I did not. I will. Does he have shape change, I guess? On Raj? Raj Al Ghoul? Yeah, what does he have? He has yeah, mastermind. I just figured he had combat reflex. Mastermind? I'll outwit the mastermind. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that just to uh, deal the bat for damage. <clears throat> you also still have willpower on the Stegosaurus. Oh, yeah, to do that. He's still correct. alive. Um, that was Stegosaurus. So I'll take three. Stegosaurus will take a token off. Uh, you also have traded toughness? Stealth. I was like, we will have traded toughness. Are you dealing four? Oh, blue. Yeah, he's got enhancement, enhancement with the uh, Union right. Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have Union Jack just go ahead and shoot Raza Ghoul as well. Okay. Hey, 16. And I'll hit 17. I will force a reroll. Let's reroll with the uh, Captain America continuity. Now let's see. Ooh, that is a crit miss on the Union Jack. Not a good look for Britain, I tell you what. Good. Not a good look. Good. Uh, and then we'll have Spider Man. Oh, uh, no, wait. Yeah, we still have the test. Stegosaurus. Let's uh, have the Stegosaurus uh, go against whatever Razai Ghoul. Might as well try to get rid of him this turn. Nine attack on the Stegosaurus. Ooh, I'll hit an 18. I will prob that with the Riddler. Probing it with Riddler. Ooh. I will prob that will hit a 17. Probing it with Zatanna. This will be the last one, I believe. This will stick, uh, which of course it won't. That'll be a 14. We'll give the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Looking token. for a second crit miss this turn, because I'd really like the Stegosaurus then, to just take care of itself. Yeah, so you don't have to deal with that, that mystics. And we'll clear Spider Man. We'll say it's your go. All right, I still have leadership with Raish al Ghul, so I'll roll that. And leadership with uh, Ventriloquist. Ah, he gets it. I don't know if he shares a keyword with Raish al Ghul. Not that Raish is really doing any... Uh, I guess I could regen or something. Let's see, Gotham City Underworld and Arkham Asylum, I doubt... No, they do not share keywords. So I will. It's Coyote. I, that's probably even more likely that Coyote Ken shares a keyword with him. Martial artist assassin. Yeah, so I will just generate yet another henchman. Uh, let me. Generate one. Whoa. And then I'll roll for his dial. A one. So he will be on sidestep range combat expert. I only have one square that I can actually place him in, so he will go here. I guess I could have taken one off of my... Oh, no, my, yeah, I could have taken one off of my other suited henchman. Um, an action token. Uh, my suited henchman with Quake will attempt to Quake Spider-Man, but first I'll perplex him down with the uh, Phantasm. So I only need a 7 to hit. Ah, that will potentially hit. Okay, okay. See what the old old Spidey Super Senses says. Uh, that's a one. Had to happen sometime. Yeah, Phantasm of Blades are just like the two. Oh, I'm quaking with the. Oh, quaking. Henchmen. Sorry. Yeah. One, two on Spidey. Okay. And then I will knock you back three, because Ooh. that is the only amount of knockback that exists now. Um. 
not great. A lot of double action to people. Let's see. Ventriloquist can do something. He has RCE. So does the other suited henchman. Oh, he doesn't have an action token. He just got generated. So I could try and energy explode again. What does Mr. Negative have defensively? Defensively, he does have toughness and mastermind, I believe, off the top of my head. Yeah, traded mastermind. Okay. Traded mastermind, toughness can't be knocked back. Yeah. You haven't rolled for his leadership to make a uh, hired. I've, I've been rolling for his leadership. Oh, I don't think he's ever made it. Yeah, I don't um, think he's ever made leadership. I've been trying to roll for his leadership. Let's see. I think the ventriloquist will just attempt to shoot since everybody's double actioned and I can't really reposition very well. Ventriloquist will just attempt to shoot um, with RCE so it'll be a 10 for 3 on Mr. Negative. Alright. I'm going to hit 1-2 on the Negative Man. Negative Man himself. Okay, and then it's an action for power equipment. The Riddler could reposition better, but let's sidestep Ventriloquist. He'll go one, two. That seems fine. I'll sidestep my suited henchman to here and sidestep. Satana to here. She will perplex. Let's go suited henchman's attack up because I can't do damage. She'll perplex his attack up so he'll be at an 11 for 2 and then 3 with the bat and he will shoot at Mr. Negative as well. And it will hit three. Let's see, I don't want to match my mind. Uh, I think Mr. Negative can die. Yeah. All right. Um, I guess Satana can psychic blast targeting Blue Union Jack. I don't have any way to generate any bats or anything from here, so just a 10 into a 17. That'll miss. Uh, no. She will prob it herself. Oh, and yet hits. another 10. Just for two? For two. One? Alright. Oh, she's got Psychic Blast, so it'll go oh, never mind. For two. Um... Everyone else, I think, has to clear this turn. Raish has to clear. Phantasm. Coyote can. I guess the Riddler could do something, potentially, but he'd have to break away from the Stegosaurus, so what's he actually going to do? Yeah, so I will just clear Raish al Ghul. Clear... Coyote Ken and clear the phantasm. Then it is First willpower will do what's his face? Bleeding and Jack fails. Second willpower will do the dinosaur. Three. Cool. All right. We're going to go ahead. Bleeding and Jack gets sidestep, try to shoot somebody. And it's Stegosaurus, just try to punch Riddler, first of all. See what happens. Oh, you didn't say even or odd. Oh, I'll say odd. Okay, cool. So that's, that's a seven. So <laughs> no, roll it again. What a, what a nice yeah, guy. I'll say odd and then prob it. How about that? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Odd. That is still odd. So take it. I'll take it. Uh, Stegosaurus. 
Let's see, Eden Jack. Mm, yeah, perplexity is attack value. Spider Man. Freaking run over to here. So perplexity is attack value, and we'll sidestep. We want to kill the Riddler. At the very least, this game, we want to get rid of the Riddler because he has been a constant thorn. I will say, even. Even. Oh, ah, well, it was odd. Yeah, all right. Here you go, Simeon. <laughs> all right. Um, we'll have, uh, I guess, uh, leadership. So, Ray Shalgul and Ventriloquist. Neither. So, I'm going to have the Riddler punch Blue Union Jack. Because mm -hmm. what a nice guy he is. It'll be a two. Eight for two. Bam. I see Union Jack. Um, that'll give an action to the Riddler. Who can I even... Uh, I can shoot at Spider-Man with two people. So let's perplex Spider-Man's defense down with Satana. She will attempt to shoot first. A 10 for 2 into the 15. That will hit for 2 damage. Boom, and that is Spider-Man. Ladies and gentlemen, another epic golden slash modern age brawl has come to a close as a reminder you can vote for the figures on our teams in the comment section below on facebook on twitter and in our discord server next time simeon is going to build out of secret wars battle world and calder yeah i guess that's me is going to build out of rebirth a uh, quick reminder for rebirth any votes for any people with the word super and or man in their name will instantly be translated to votes for bizarro uh, yes, that is going to be how it's going to work. Period. Uh, Simeon, any quick battle world figures you should get a vote for? Uh, Witch Queen Lafay has always been my like staple figure. Uh, that's like my favorite. I've played it multiple times. Um, going along with that, the Thor core was really fun with their whatever their law tokens were, crack the case tokens or whatever. That was really fun and. Honestly, the chases weren't that amazing. I, uh, Other than Odin, I didn't ever play a whole lot of them. So uh, Black Panther was good, but I never played it. Right on. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. And as always, happy trails.